Lisa. I'm the Barefoot Pampered Chef, and today I'm going to teach you how to make my mom's favorite dessert. Well, one of her favorite desserts. Her other favorite dessert is lemon meringue pie, but today we're going to make banana cream pie. And we're going to make them into mini pies, and it's a really, really simple and easy recipe that you can impress your friends with. So the very first thing that we're going to do is I'm using a store-bought crust that I've rolled out here. Uh, you can use any kind of crust that you want, you know, if you want to make your own or use a store-bought, either way is fine. So this is my store-bought crust, and if you get the mini pie pan from Pampered Chef, it will come with these little cookie cutters. This is the perfect size of crust to fit within each one of these little holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three of them today. If you want to make six, which is the whole pan, you just need one of the two crust boxes or enough crust to make uh, two nine inch pies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the far edge here and cut a circle. I'm not going to pick it out yet and I'll show you why. And I'm going to make another one over here and then one more. <clears throat> now what we're going to do with these, once they're cut, is I'm going to take either my silicone basting brush or you can use the kitchen mister and I'm going to take a little bit of water and I'm just going to paint these a little bit just so they're a titch bit wet. I'm just going to paint the circle part. You can paint the whole thing if you want. That's fine. But the circle part's the only part we're using right now. The leftover pie crust you can put into a sealable container and you can keep it and use it for other things. You can make pie crust cookies. You can do um, roll it back out and make another little mini pie. Whatever you want to do with that. So I've got these brushed. I'm going to take my uh, sifter here. I've got some cinnamon and sugar in it. And I'm just going to shake that over top of the crust. So I've got those nicely coated, and I'm going to take each of these, and I'm going to do the docking, which is poking holes in the crust, before I put it in the pan. Uh, you can dock them before or after, uh, but I'm just going to poke a couple of holes in each of these. The pastry chef roller from Pampered Chef comes with a little docking tool. Right now I'm just using a fork. What this does is, is it'll stop your pie crust from puffing up. It'll make it nice and crisp. So we're just going to take these rounds out and we're going to put them into our pie pan and we're going to press down until we get them into all the sides. And if there's a little fold in your crust, that's fine. Just push them up into the mold. We're going to do three of them, like I said, you can do six if you want. Push these in here. I've got my oven preheated to 450 degrees and we're going to cook these for approximately 9 to 10 minutes. Now I did a few beforehand and my 9 minutes in my oven was a little tiny bit too much. Some of them got a little bit too brown on the top. So you just want to keep an eye on them and make sure that they're not getting overly brown. So if you see, I've put these in there. I might throw another couple little docking, more docking holes in them just to make sure they don't puff up too much. And I'm going to pop these in the oven. If you're someone that likes to forget that things are in the oven, like me, I always suggest putting the timer on before you even go do anything else. This pie crust I can use later for other things, so I'm just going to set that aside until I can deal with it. Now what we're going to do is I'll show you here. I've got a couple of pie crusts that I've already baked off. And we are going to take some bananas, two bananas for this recipe. And it should make five or six, six mini pies. Ah, stink 
of bananas won't open. Okay. So I'm going to open both of my bananas. I'm actually going to move this crust so I can bring my chopping board back here. There we go. Now, I don't want to have to sit here all day and cut these bananas into little super thin slices. So what I'm going to use is my egg slicer. You can get an egg slicer plus from Pampered Chef. So I'm just going to put my banana in here just in pieces. Bring that down and I have perfectly finely sliced bananas. So I'm going to do a couple more of these. We're just going to do these three crusts here, so we're going to use one banana. And we're going to layer the bottom of these crusts with our bananas. And then I'll show you how to make the super easy filling. So, so far, recipe isn't too hard, right? Pie crust, bananas. So we're just going to take these bananas and layer the bottom of our pie crust. You can save a few to put on top to make it look pretty. Or you can put some whipped cream on top of these. That'll make it look really nice. So I've got those layered there. Layer one more here. This recipe may actually make more than six little mini pies. Because I've got some bananas left over. Put those in a bowl. Alright. Let me wash my hands really, or wipe off my hands really quick, and we'll make the filling. So the filling is super easy as well. I'm going to take my batter bowl. I am going to add in one and a half cups of milk. So I've got this in my three cup silicone prep bowl. I'm just going to pour that in. And I'm going to add one package of banana cream instant pudding pie stuff. So it's a 3.4 ounce package. I'm just going to add that in. I'm going to take my whisk, and I'm going to start whisking that until it gets a little bit thick. So about two minutes, I would say. What we're going to do with these is we're going to pour the batter in, and then we're going to pop these in the refrigerator and let them sit for approximately one hour until they're ready. After they're done, you can start... Uh, piping on some Cool Whip, or you can just put a good dollop of Cool Whip on them. And they make really nice little personal dessert. So this is starting to thicken up a little bit. I'm going to whisk it just a little bit longer. And as you can see, it's starting to stick a little bit to my whisk and it's getting a little bit thick and so what I'm going to do is to this I'm going to add one cup of whipped cream. Now this is whipped cream I made in my Pampered Chef whipped cream maker. You can use the store-bought whipped cream and it's just one cup and I'm just going to lightly stir that in. Mine happened to be a little frozen <laughs> so it might need a little time to mix in, but that's okay. This will make it nice and light and creamy and fluffy and a little bit less uh, like just the pudding flavor to it. And as you can see, it started to change to more of a white color as opposed to that yellow uh, banana color. Just getting all the clumps out of here. What I'm going to do is 
I'm going to take my little pies and I'm just going to pour in a little bit of this filling over the top of my bananas. And that's going to set up and make our pie. So like I said, perfect filling. Pop these in the refrigerator for an hour and you'll have a really nice homemade dessert. For all of this and more, you can go to www.pamperedchef.biz backslash Lisa Wright, L-I-S-A-W-R-I-G-H-T. You can also find me on Twitter, Twitter and you can find me on Instagram at hashtag BarefootPC. And you can find me on my YouTube channel, The Barefoot Pampered Chef. I hope you found some good tips with this recipe, and I will see you later. Thanks.